I think you're gonna need a solid way for this thing for sure. I'm so keen to check how this thing goes. It's a total experiment. Thinking oh, this thing, it does look pretty lekker. It's like upright in the back and then it's, it's got a bit of a slant in the front. Brew, to be honest, I don't actually know too much about like mid size single fins, small single fins, you know, only logs, bro. But I don't Straight think. Up. You don't have to go too small on this, especially if you're surfing a bigger wave. Mm. Like at supers, you maybe want the bigger fin, yeah. just so it holds. I mean, in my 7.4, 7.6 that I had, I actually put a 10 inch in there because that was all I had at the time. And it went for it. I'll be holding on to this one for a while. Well, number one on the return. Okay, perfect. Yeah. As long as I get a shot to give it a go. I think it's 21. And you got a little double through there. 21 in the touch, yeah. Got a good double for you with a bit of V in the tail. I see the V down there. Yeah. Yo, that thing's gonna channel water, bro. Unreal, bro. And then you're gonna have water coming over those as well. Also interested with the beveled uh, rail from this, from this thing yeah. up. Like, oh, no idea what is going to happen, bro. Like, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be privileged to be the first so test pilot. Like, yeah, bro. We'll send you some clips, bro. My dad reckons he made these, like, 40 years ago. Plonk it on the tail and then kind of, jab you know, it. you can jab it. You can either do, like, those pivotal stall turns, you know, those pivots. You see the best photos of the O's doing turns if you actually watch the clips of where yeah. they start their turn. They started in the middle of the face and they're going into the flats. You're actually going so you're not up. even, you're, you're going down, you like, don't even go up to the top of the wave. You're kind of in cruise mode and you just turn from that cruise mode. You don't go up to turn down, you know, because going up, you're losing speed already, you know. Hey, bro, I can't Thanks. wait to see the first wave on this thing. Well, Make sure you catch a bomb, bro. Don't get a, <laughs> don't get a small wave, bro. <laughs> we heard that, John, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Stinger. Des Sawyer, I mean, been, been around a while in Joe Bay making boards from the singles back when the guys were first at Supers uh, all the way through to now. And of course, Steven Sawyer, I mean, Steezy's a ledge, absolutely shreds a short board, long board, I mean, long board world champion. 
and he's been getting stuck in at the factory and he's grown up in the factory. So glassing, resin tinting, shaping, doing it all. So obviously you always wanted a Sawyer on the show and when we're going to do single fins and bonzes and interesting boards and we're going to J-Bay, my phone steers you up and I was like, pal, you have got to make a board. And at first he wasn't sure if they were ready and there were a few, few ums and ahs, but eventually uh, I convinced him it was the right thing to do. And this is what he kept, he was going to do a mid length. He was going to do a mid length. And then suddenly he was inspired by the Ipers. And of course Ben Iper, famous Hawaiian shaper, um, the Ipers these days more on the news of because of twins, but before the twins, Ben Iper, the, the father of the Iper clan, was famous for these crazy, crazy single fins. And that is why the Stinger. I mean, Ben used Ben Iper used to probably take the wings, some of them up to almost like here. I mean, Steezy's been a little bit more circumspect with his but I mean that's still a lot of tail from the wing and you don't normally see that wing so high. It's got a beautiful flute as well and then it goes down to the super narrow swallowtail and I mean if you just look at this board the finishing is immaculate you know like I would compare it to like you know you have those like classic car shows and you see those like redone classics that have been fully modernized but they're still cherry mint that is what this is sent me a message, did it paddle okay? Paddled it out at supers, off the bricks, and swung into my first wave and got in no problem, and it was actually probably one of the best waves I've had of, of the whole trip. And the board just felt good. It really felt good. It paddles like a dream. I mean, it's got all this whip and chunk up front, and then it goes into this narrow, tiny, little, single, there's a little double concave through the fins here. Not, not big, but it's there. And there's a pretty flat deck up here. Maybe a little V. I mean, just look at it. It's crazy. There's, no, <laughs> there's nothing normal about this surfboard. And your brain is literally going like, hold on a second. Like, How's this thing gonna work? But let me tell you, work it does. And like, I wanna surf it more. Uh, crappy beach break and soft, like wide waves. Don't wanna be surfing that, this thing on those. But um, 
give me a nice long wall with some power and this board is just going to sing. You can really highline on it. It turns really easy for a single fin. Um, feels really solid off the bottom as well. And I'm pretty sure I've got a little barrel that supers on it. So you can get barreled on this thing and it'll hold its line through the pit. And I hesitate to put high performance and single fin in the same sentence, but this is about as high performance as you're going to get on a short board with a single fin. So I think in the year that Ben Iper died, I think this is a magical tribute to him by, you know, the Ipers are this like royalty in Hawaii, like a, a real famous family in surfing and surfboards. I think the Sawyers are very much the same from J Bay. And I think it's very fitting that Dez and Steven made this board this year. And I feel very privileged to have gotten to surf it. Steven would like to buy it back. <laughs> uh, Steezy, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk, but um, I definitely want to surf it some more. So, you know, maybe you're not in the market for a single fin or a stinger. Um, I think if you're looking for some history and like just some really incredible craftsmanship, the, the Sawyers should be top of your speed dial list because Look, you know Stephen is going to make you a crazy good longboard, as is Dez. And then they work together. Um, the glassing, the, the paint, just everything. It's, it's a work of art, this surfboard. And um, I think everyone should get a Sawyer at some point. I really do. Uh, I love this thing. Man. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs>